Hey guys, Sizzlecat here and this is Anime Reveal. We can talk about any anime you want. Leave a suggestion in the comment section below. Let's get started. The anime we'll be talking today is Hataraku Saibo, also known as Cells at Work. Can you imagine why for Cells were people? Japan can. This anime is about the inside of human body, but everything is humanized. Like organs, cities, cells are people, it needs are rockets and virus and monsters and such. If you don't remember your biology classes, no worries, the series explains everything. So, there are two main characters. One is your waifu, red blood cell CKQ, because why not have a blood waifu? She cures oxygen, represented as sandwich and all the types of food. She may be cute, but her sense of direction is worse than Zoro's. And you have white blood cell HKQ, who kills any stranger who enters the body. It's that serious type of character and always gets there on time to save the day. Also, there's still an arm of Lolly, the Platelets, which doesn't seem so reliable. The function is construction and repairment of damage, and being cute, I guess. So, this anime is mostly about how the cells works when there's a problem. Yeah, I said the name of the show. Even though they are main characters, it also shows how the body reacts to threats. <gasps> Each episode has one story. On episode 1 is the invasion of germs by the vascular endothelial cells. The white blood cells immediately get treated to kill them all, but some of them escaped. The second line of defense are the T cells. The killer T cells works like the white cells, but they are always late. And finally, the germs expelled within the rocket. On episode 2, Red Chains lost again, Lali Sin, Explosion, what do you guys think it is? Yeah, just a scratch. What concerns Red Chain again? Yep. Germs, yeah. Balish Class, Red Konami, more Germs, but then the true army enters, Lollies, I mean Platalets. They make the blood clotting so there is no backup for the Germs. White Army wins and the scratch is sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 3 starts with a hormone vibe, zombies. White Con saves the day, imagine they change the white coin we don't even know. At least episode 2 he recognized Red Chan, so it's the same. Anyway, this episode is mostly about knife T cell, a T cell not activated yet. The zombies are created by influence infecting normal cells. <laughs> Knife Kun may be worthless, but Macrophage play a big part in this episode, as you can see. And later as ever, T-Cells enters the fight. Knife Kun runs away, but with the power of flashback, he digivolves. This fight is not looking good until you... No, not him. I mean, new knife Kun arrives. Not only that, he can now multiply. Bissio enters the fight. He produces antibodies and fires with his gun. Wait, why is he the only one with a gun? Everyone uses knives or fists. The better is one, but there's one more. No, 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 it's Influenza A. Seems like Nebuchadnezzar's Digivolution wore off. Next episode, the spin close girl is Eosinophil, in Japanese, Kosen Q. She's like White Cell Guy but weaker. Who works mostly against allergies and parasitics. The problem seems to keep going, so mast cells release histamines. As they keep seeing the alarms, the bacteria is entering due to food poisoning. White Kun keeps getting the work done, while Pink Girl is a level 1 noob with a spear. 
White Coon tries to fight the new enemy, but... Whoa, that was so alien! The big boss appears. Don't do that, why there is always ads? A white person appears. What will you do? Pinger is determined to fight a new Fred, even though no one believes her. Whoa, for some reason his P only works on huge monsters. Oh yeah, if you scream you can one hit kill anything in this anime. Now everyone finally recognizes her. Hey Meteor, what do you guys think it is? A. Another bacteria, B. Parasite, C. Genkidama Oh well, it's just pollen. What the hell, there's an alien there. Oh, you know what does it remembers me? This pudding. Face what the nearest to the mirror and are really concerned. Come on, they really resemble Diga Pudding. A good and Tama if you look closely. <laughs> to determine what that monster is, White Queen uses his other specialty, Phagocyte. And this is Memory Cell. He keeps talking about legends and prophecies. It's about the end of the world or something like that. <laughs> いい Chill out, man. And what do you bring out that? A large invasion happens, and not this guy again. It's clearly overdoing, and that's how other consecutive problems happen. Do you remember Marcel? Her job is to release his man that's too much IGE to balance off something like that. She uses the same amount as IGE released, and when it doesn't work, what does she do? More histamine, why not? And now this causes the sneeze, nasal membrane swelling, tears, and more pollens entering. <laughs> Red Chan finally does something helpful, she brings the remedy. That ball really looks like Gun's ball. Oh oh, this doesn't look good. So steroids kills everyone and everything involved. Seems reasonable. And that's all about it. Did you like or not this anime? Which anime do you want to see next? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hit that bell button.